Let's do a couple of problems solving equations with absolute values. So we talked about the steps to go through in class. I will just briefly review them. The first thing you have to do is to get the absolute value by itself on one side. And then after that, you have to check the number on the other side of the equation, the side opposite the absolute value, because if that number is negative, then of course we're going to stop and not do any math. But if a number is zero or a positive number, then we do some math. And in the case of it's a positive number, we break it up into two separate problems. Okay, so with that quick review, let's just work through a couple problems. First one, be pretty straightforward. Absolute value of x plus 4 equals 11. So, first thing we have to check is the absolute value by itself on one side. In this case, yes it is. So now I look at the number and I see it's a positive number, so therefore I'm going to break this up into two separate problems. The first problem, you drop the absolute value signs and then write the equation and solve it. So in this case I'll subtract 4 from both sides. x equals 7 should be a solution. Now the second problem is you drop the absolute value signs, but then you make the number a negative. So I'm going to have x plus 4 equals negative 11. And now I solve this equation, subtract 4 from both sides. x equals negative 15. So there are my two solutions, and I can check if I plug 7 into the original equation, 7 plus 4 is 11. Absolute value of 11 is 11, so that's a solution. Minus 15, if I plug it into the original equation, minus 15 plus 4 is negative 11, but the absolute value of negative 11 is 11, so they both, these both check out. Let's look at another problem. 3x minus 2 absolute value plus 3 equals 7. All right. Absolute value equation. What's the first step? You have to get the absolute value by itself on one side. So I need to move this 3 to the other side. So the way I do that is to subtract 3 from both sides. So when I do that, I end up with absolute value of 3x minus 2 equals 4. So now I check my number. My number is positive. So I'm going to break this up into two problems. The first problem, I drop the absolute value signs and solve this equation. I add 2 to both sides. Divide both sides by 3, it looks like. I have a solution of x equals 2. The second problem, drop the absolute value signs and make the number negative. So now to solve for x, I add 2 to both sides. And now to solve for x, divide both sides by 3. So it looks like I get a solution of x equals negative 2 thirds. Now if you take the time to check the solutions, I think both of these should work. So they are your solutions. So absolute value equations are not that difficult. Just first get the absolute value by itself on one side. Then you check your number, and then you go from there.